Hello everyone, my name is Sandy Butchers and some of you already know that for the last couple of months I have been working together with the amazing bunch from the Authors and Dragons podcast. Uh, they are a group of, surprise, authors uh, who play Dungeons and Dragons and I was asked to work on a series of six characters um, uh, together with the amazing JLD who you should definitely look up on Instagram, I believe it is at JLD Arts. Um, so he created the line work and I was asked to do the coloring and as you can see in this particular image um, I had to work with a Karen <laughs> and this Karen was, uh, she's, this character is not named Karen by the way but I'm just calling, calling her that um, but she was known to wear these abhorrent uh, clothing combinations and colors that just won't match and she had a spray tan and she had like this uh, overly uh, uh, bleached hair and all that kind of stuff, you know, with the with the outgrown pieces in there. But so this character, as funny as she is, was basically a combination of everything that, as an artist, I would normally not put together. So um, as you can see here, I'm already trying to pick up these colors. Like I do want to give that vibe of this is a sweet person. <laughs> And there comes the yellow leggings, which will have these panther prints on them. Uh, I, there is all kinds of stuff that I that I struggled with. How on earth am I going to make these ugly colors look good? Um, so one of the things that I had to decide on, you know, because the colors were obviously not going to be <laughs> my thing on this one, which you know it's totally fine. Um, but I had to I had to change around some things in my technique. Normally you'll see me working with. Um, a lot of soft blending uh, and a lot of uh, um, highlights uh, but here I needed to colors to speak for themselves so you see that I'm working less with these highlights and these low lights um, but I'm actually just putting on little accents of you know where there's going to be a fold in the clothing uh, or where there's going to be some light reflecting off even you know giving off the idea that those leggings as ugly as they already are, are also actually made of some shiny fabric, like this fake leather or something. It's, it's, it's all in the tiny nuances, whereas normally you'll see me shade the whole thing. Um, I have this technique where for every color, I so I pick a base color and I pick two or three highlight colors from that and then two or three low light colors from that. So. Every different color has a color spectrum of at least five different shades. That's what I usually do. For this one, because I wanted the colors to speak for themselves and not necessarily be about the shading of it, I only limited myself to one low light and two highlights. Um, and and the, the, the brighter that color became, the less I used of it. So what you really see is three to four colors or shades maximum per color. And so this entire image really turns into this very smooth, very sweet in a way, um, you know, composition, uh, even though <laughs> she really does look like a Karen. Um, hmm. What I also, uh, yeah, that was an interesting thing. What I had to work with was that this, this Karen type figure was also very much into diamonds and everything shiny. Um, so, but she wasn't, she's not a hoarder or, or anything. She, she doesn't, uh, she won't rob you blind. She will, she just, she wants to sell her stuff. She wants to um, be the person who has all the jewels with her and then sell them to you. Uh, so she definitely enjoys the bling. Um, but they couldn't take away from her. So it, it, the bling was not supposed to be the first thing your eyes would, you know, would catch. If anything, it would have been the leggings <laughs> because, oh my God, these leggings are awful. Um, but they work with her anyway. Um, so the jewelry had to be there. It had to be a prominent part of the image, but it didn't, it, it, it was not supposed to take away from the rest of it. So there are these slight like bling nuances, these little glints of light and little reflections going on there um, with her huge patchwork bag. And there was a lot of different textures going on. Um, uh, there's, there's the leather, there's the, the quilt bag. Um, there's the tunic who has this, this plaid texture on it as well. Um, she really is a collection, <laughs> like I said before, of the things that I would never put together myself. 
Um, and it, this really makes made it challenging for me um, because this was a piece where I was constantly struggling with my brain telling me no this this is not this is not gonna work this is not how this works um, and yet here I am doing it um, so this was definitely one of the more interesting pieces that I had to make for this series um, I was very happy that finally you know with the background put in there um, you actually see the things coming together like the, the blue somehow manages to sort of glue things together um, and it, it somehow made the leggings look less worse. <laughs> um, you know, there is there is this magical element, of course. I mean, it's it's a D and D character, so what can I say? This there is this element of of magical, of whimsical going on, and um, uh, I was very happy to put the background in there because that really um, that really, in one way, put the emphasis on her. Uh, but at the same time sort of create a scene instead of just looking at her. Um, it kind of distracts in a way of the things that don't match together, um, but at the same time, I don't know, made a whole of it. Um, and, and I think that is the most important part. And like the, if there's one message that I can give to you in this, in this video, it is to trust the process. You know, we all start at somewhere um, and we just gotta, sometimes you just gotta roll the hard six. You just gotta, Roll the critical success or the critical failure sometimes too. You know, it's it's part of the process. Um, so yeah, I had I had huge fun working on this one. I really hope you check out the other pieces of this particular A and D series. Um, thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below.